Those of you who are regulars of my channel, uh, you already know that I'm a fan of Ego's line of cordless electric yard tools. While their power head with edger attachment isn't a new product, it is one that I have been using this past summer, and I'm certain the majority of you watching this video right now are looking into buying one as well and are interested in seeing what all you're getting when you purchase one. And of course, the most important piece of the puzzle, just how well does it perform? Hello, welcome to Maraxotes Reviews and How-Tos. Uh, my name is Brian, and as you already know, in this video, we're taking a look at the Ego Powerhead and Edger attachment. I've made enough videos now that I've learned that people want me to just get straight to the point. So for those of you that are interested in an overview of the product, as well as a performance demonstration, uh, stick around after this next bit for that. Uh, for those of you interested in nothing more than how this Edger performs, We'll be taking a look at that right now. In my yard, I have around 270 lineal feet of concrete slab and curbing that I edge around on a weekly basis. As you can see, the edger attachment for the Ego Powerhead has no problem whatsoever doing exactly what it's designed to do. Uh, I like the guideline here that Ego has built into the top of the guard. I feel like it's a nice visual guide to help you follow the edge of your concrete. There is also a guide plate uh, built into the edger to help keep you snug against your concrete. This guide is removable just in case you don't want to have it on or you don't need it for your particular situation. I feel this unit has all the power you need for edging and plenty to spare. It effortlessly cuts through grass and dirt leaving you with a nice clean edge to your lawn. Well, you do of course have to sweep up or blow off the mess it leaves behind to see that nice clean edge, which is one of the things I use my Ego leaf blower for, which I still need to make a video about. Now, there are some of you that might be thinking, that's all fine and good, Brian, but your lawn has obviously been maintained to the point where this edger hardly has anything it has to cut through. My lawn has rarely or never been edged before, so does the ego really have what it takes to cut through my thick, tough sod? Well, I am glad you asked. Uh, my dad, he does not own an edger at all, and my mom has been wanting her sidewalk edged all summer long. Yeah, I'm a terrible son for not doing it sooner, but on a positive note, waiting this long has made for a good test of the power of the edger and the powerhead. The edger did have to work harder than it does when I do my lawn because of how thick and overgrown my parents' sidewalk was. But the power had provided plenty of torque. The motor didn't bog down at all, and the edger plowed right through their grass with ease. Adjusting the depth of the edger is super easy. You just turn this knob here to loosen the wheel, adjust it to your desired depth, and then tighten the knob back down. Personally, I like to keep mine on the shallowest setting because I'm just not a fan of really deep cut lines. But I can also see this being useful if your concrete sits a fair amount higher than your grass. The next question after what its performance is like has got to be what is the battery runtime like? Uh, unfortunately, I can't give an exact answer to that question, but I can say this. One of the great things about Ego Tools is you can use any of their batteries with any of their tools. To edge, I always use one of my 5 amp hour batteries from my lawnmower. That takes me about 15 minutes to edge my yard. I then swap the battery back into my lawnmower and mow my lawn, which takes an additional 45-ish minutes. I also own the cultivator attachment and was able to run that for about an hour, uh, almost non-stop, to till my entire garden and it still had some juice left when I was done. Using a 5 amp hour battery, I assume it'll last plenty long enough for most people and I'm sure many people, uh, myself included, could actually get away with using a 2.5 amp hour battery when you're doing nothing more than edging. One of the things I think is great about Ego is they offer many of their tools as bare tools. Meaning if you already own something that came with one of their batteries, like 
uh, one of their lawnmowers or something, you can buy the bare tool version of other tools and use the batteries you already own, which can quite frankly save you hundreds of dollars. In the case of this Edger, the kit that comes with a five amp hour battery is currently listed for $340 on homedepot.com. The bare tool, on the other hand, is only $140. The kit with the battery does also include a charger, so compared to buying everything separately, that kit is a much better deal. Uh, however, if you're like me and I already own batteries and chargers, uh, Ego giving you the option to buy the Bear tool, I think is really awesome. Like all the other Ego tools I own, the Edger comes pretty much fully assembled. Other than connecting the Edger attachment to the power head, the only assembly required is attaching the handle to the power head. There's no required spot on the tool for the handle to be attached, which allows you to position the handle wherever and in whatever orientation is the most comfortable for you. Connecting attachments to the power head is a very simple process. You just insert this end of the attachment into the receiving end on the power head until it reaches this red line here and then clicks into place. You then tighten down this clamp to secure it. To remove an attachment, you first loosen the clamp, then press this button to release the latch, and finally pull the power head and attachment apart. As for the construction of the edger attachment itself, I feel it's very well built. The guard is made out of what I believe is cast aluminum, or aluminium for all my friends living outside the United States. It is not only strong and sturdy, but in my opinion, looks pretty good too. The rubber debris flap does its job as expected and changing out the blade is pretty straightforward. First, you need to remove the cotter pin here. Then you'll need to rotate the blade to align this notch here on the outside with a notch that's on the inside and insert the Allen key that they include with the edger to stop the gear case from moving. From there, you can use the wrench that's included with the edger to loosen this bolt here. This bolt does have reverse threads on it, so you're gonna have to rotate it clockwise to remove it. With the bolt removed, you can then pull everything apart and swap out the blade. Putting the new blade on is as simple as repeating the steps we just went through, but in reverse. This screw here is where you can check and fill the transmission gear case on the tool. Eagle recommends you check and fill the grease uh, every 50 hours of use. I imagine for most people, that's only gonna be once every year or two. One of the things I'm not such a big fan of is the weight of the tool. With a five amp hour battery attached, the total weight of the tool is around 16 pounds, which isn't ridiculously heavy, but can wear on your arm muscles a bit. I recommend picking up one of Eagle's shoulder straps uh, as it works great for taking the weight and strain off of your arms. It would certainly be nice if Ego included one with the tool and didn't require you spending an extra $20 for one. Yeah, $20 isn't going to break the bank, but I feel like Ego positions themselves as a premium brand. And I just feel including a shoulder strap for a tool like this that really needs one would offer a little extra value and positively differentiate Ego from their competitors a little bit more. The last bit I wanna go over is the power head itself. For its size and weight, I'm very impressed by the amount of power it has. Not to mention, using it is as simple as it gets. It has a switch you can operate with your thumb right here to switch between high and low speed modes, depending on what uh, the attachment you're using requires. When using the edger, I set it to two, but for the cultivator, I set it to one. The trigger does have a little safety switch to prevent you from accidentally engaging the tool. And in order to operate it, you first need to depress the safety switch here, and then you can pull the trigger and go. Ego has designed this to be ambidextrous, so whether you're right or left-handed, operating the power head is nice and easy. Overall, I'm very happy with my purchase. I feel that the power head really does pack a punch. In my opinion, it delivers all the power of a gas powered edger without having to pull a ripcord to start it, mess around with buying and filling it with fuel, or breathing in any exhaust fumes. Uh, Ego continues to produce quality products that simply get the job done. 
and I'd recommend this edger to anyone that's looking to buy it. So what are your impressions of this edger? Uh, hit it up in the comments and let me know. I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up button before you take off. If you have a question for me about the edger that maybe, you know, I didn't cover in the video, uh, please leave a comment and I'll do my very best to get back to you and answer any questions you may have. Please share this video with your friends and family that may be interested in it and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more videos from me. Also, if you enjoy what I do here on the channel, uh, please consider checking out my Amazon store at the link in the video description where you can pick up some of the products that I feature in my videos. Well, that is all for now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and I look forward to seeing you again in another video. We'll see ya.